Uh, so we're gonna make this quick video. Rocio's up here with me. It's cloudy today, so it's nice. We got a great breeze, but I gotta hurry up because it might rain. I went to play basketball today um, in the neighborhood, and um, I'm a little bit old. The legs are definitely hurting. I tried to dunk it a couple times, one time successful, but um, it was a fun experience. Uh, the basketball cost about five dollars at the local store, and then I gave it to uh, some local kids in the neighborhood. I just said, I'll just buy another basketball. They can use it a lot more than I can with these old legs that I got here. But um, it was a pretty fun day uh, playing. I need to get out more and play some more. Um, so let's talk uh, first. Uh, as you guys know, I did speak to Detmar. I'm going back to work on May 9th. Yay! We're going to be back in the oil field. We're going to make some money. Um, don't know what truck I'll be in or if it's going to be a CNG or diesel off the bat, but that's not important. We're going to get back to the oil field, find out what's going on. Uh, I see that the price of oil is maintained $100 or around about, which is kind of a little bit surprising to me. I did think that it would get there um, and maybe go down, but I don't know. People are talking recession. Who knows? doesn't matter, uh, at least not in, in terms of this video. What does matter right now is let's look at some numbers. So this is the way that I'm understanding it in terms of when Hylion gets these Hypertruck ERXs to market, how they're going to sell a lot. So if you guys look online, I'm not I'm not trying to deceive anyone. You can look at all this up, uh, look at all up yourself. You're talking about $160,000 for a brand new Freightliner Cascadia, $160,000 brand new Peterbilt 579. Okay, this is around about the ballpark price. And Hylion is talking about $240,000 to buy a Hypertruck ERX, which is powered by the generator, and the generator is powered by CNG natural gas. Now, the savings comes in, and I pulled it all up for you guys, and you guys can go check this all out yourself. You can go to actresearch.net, It's uh, or basically you can just type in like the Google search bar, uh, CNG truck cost calculator. And basically, I'm gonna show you guys um, how it actually cost about $100,000 less to buy the Hypertruck ERX over a five-year period. And this is kind of, from what, what's been explained to me, the benefit and the savings of CNG. So I hope this comes out well. If not, you guys go to actresearch.net and check it out for yourself. And let me see if you guys can see this. I'm going to try and flip it so you guys can see it here. And we'll look at it together. Now, the problem is, is that this is probably backwards, huh? Well, if it's backwards, we're just going to fix this all in post. I'm going to flip it over, okay? So here we are. We're at actresearch.net. Okay, if this is backwards, I'm going to flip it over. We've selected diesel, and we've selected natural gas, correct? As a matter of fact, well, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll flip it over in post-production. I'll do a little editing, and I'll flip this over. So we got a diesel and natural gas truck, okay? So what we're going to look at here is the cost. So I've selected cash purchase for both. The diesel truck will cost us, oh, sorry, $160,000. And for the natural gas truck, we'll be paying $240,000. Okay, that would be for a Hypertruck ERX. We're going to do 120,000 miles a year. Oh, come on, there we go, 120,000 miles a year. Okay? And it says trade-in cycle 60 months, but I don't think that's going to matter in the calculation. We're just going to assume that we bought it cash, okay? So we're going to move up. Diesel costs about five dollars a gallon. We all know at the moment it's probably a lot more than that, but let's say it's that's the average for the next five years. Okay, we're gonna go with the old five dollars a gallon, average seven miles a gallon per diesel truck. And you guys can see there the gallon equivalent and the gallons used. Yes, there is DEF purchase involved with the new truck, so I left that in there in the calculation. Then you can see for natural gas, you're looking at an average about two dollars and twenty cents. For MPGE, that's mile per gallon equivalent, average is about 5.6 miles per gallon. I'd say that's fairly accurate um, for a CNG truck. And then you guys can see there that we have, uh, what do we got there? Oh yeah, we got the, uh, uh, what does it say? Uh, yeah, the uh, gallon equivalent uh, for natural gas. Now, if we come down a little further, oh, I gotta move my tablet, sorry there. Okay, let's move this tablet down. So, below that, what it has is the cost for maintenance, which I left exactly the same. It's just tire cost and may I left it exactly the same, just assuming it's the same, because I really want, in this video, for you guys to see the difference um, with the CNG versus the diesel. Okay, so even though 
the CNG Hypertruck ERX is $80,000 more to buy cash than a standard brand new diesel truck. Check this out. At the bottom here, it shows you the total cost. Maybe I should do it like this so that we can all look at it together. So over a five year period, the cost of ownership for the diesel truck is gonna be roughly $142,000, okay? Or excuse me, this is what it's gonna cost you each year to own that truck because you have to factor in the cost of fuel. This is for the cost of ownership. And the CNG Hypertruck ERX is actually gonna cost you $118,000. So you're talking about 142 is what you're gonna spend each year over a five year period for the diesel truck. And 118, oh, there we go, 118,000 for the CNG truck, which is about $22,000 less. So over a five year period, now you gotta understand my calculation isn't exactly correct. It's an example so that you guys can see, obviously the fuel prices will fluctuate, but you're talking about approximately 22,000 times five, $110,000 less. So really, if you're a larger company, like a lot of the companies that are on the uh, Innovation Council, you're looking at about $160,000 truck, okay? Or if you're gonna buy the truck cash outright, that truck's actually gonna cost you, the Hypertruck ERX, $110,000 less, which means the truck is really only costing you $50,000 in the long run if you're looking at what it's gonna cost to operate and fuel. And that is really the market edge that the Hypertruck ERX really has. Now, if you guys wanna talk about, oh, it's better for the environment, it's green, um, will it uh, um, attract more drivers to the industry? Sure, all that's well and good, and whatever reasons I forgot to mention, you guys can put in there too. But from a financial standpoint, looking forward, from a business person standpoint, from an investment standpoint, from a from an owner standpoint, from a fleet owner standpoint, that's where it is right there. If you're talking, you know, if you're talking larger companies who, when they talk trucks, they're talking in terms of 100, 500, 1,000 trucks. You know, they're talking about the average of that. When you look at those numbers, you see how much less it's going to cost you over a five year period to own that truck. And you might get an EV tax credit from it. I mean, that's pretty enticing because it is a lot less. That is if the relationship or the gap in fuel cost between CNG and diesel stays the same. I don't see why I wouldn't. But um, that's my research. That's what I came up with. You guys let me know what you think. If you think I'm wrong in there, if you guys have more calculations, if there's some things that I missed, you guys want to correct it, let me know. But from what I'm seeing, roughly we're looking at about $144,000 per year to operate a new diesel truck for five years and to operate the Hypertruck ERX for five years, uh, it will cost $118,000, which is $22,000 less. And that is solely based off of the cost of fuel. Uh, I'm not talking about maintenance or uh, benefits to the economy, just talking about the fuel cost. That is where I think the savings come in. Um, it's looking like it's gonna rain here a little bit. Rocio's there waiting for me a little bit. We had a, 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 a wonderful day today. I hope it doesn't rain tonight, but um, I'll be back soon. And um, I'll be back in the truck, and uh, we can talk more then. I'll uh, we'll try to put up a video every week. Maybe I'll start doing longer videos, you know, one day a week so I can focus on uh, getting the work done, and then I can kind of give you guys the weekly report of what's going on. Maybe in a highly on truck right away, maybe not. Not really sure. But let's look forward to 2022. I'm wondering what's going on with this winter testing because just a, just a, just a thought in my head. Maybe you guys have the answer. If they're waiting for the Hypertruck ERX to do winter testing with these demo units, I don't think it's going to snow in Texas anytime between May and September, right? I doubt it. So maybe we'll get a Hypertruck ERX early? I don't know. I mean, I can ask Matt Detmar when I get back. I don't really know. But I mean, I doubt it's going to snow. And I mean, they do have those demo units down there. So maybe we'll get one year early. I don't know. Maybe we'll get one early and we'll be able to drive it this summer. Or some driver will be able to drive it, which would be fantastic. I think it would just be exciting to see it on the road. I know a lot of uh, a lot of uh, you subs have asked, or, or not asked, well, some of you have commented, but I know there's some concern about the stock price. But I mean, in my opinion, for me, um, I bought in uh, more recently. I started buying last year, but it's an investment and investments take time. Uh, that's the whole point of an investment. You put your money in now and you look back at it later and hopefully it's more. Um, but um, 
I think what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to be a little bit long term, a little bit more long term. But remember, those government mandates are going to start rolling out in 2024. California is already pushing hard um, in terms of uh, semi trucks. And I think you're going to see a lot more of it, too. And once that happens, I think you're going to see those ERX, ERX sales bump up. But um, that is the information on how I believe uh, Hylion can do very, very well with their Hyper Truck ERX product because um, cost comparatively, is that a word? Comparatively? I'm making up words now. I'm not sure if it is. But comparing costs for a company that has a lot of cash and is looking to replace their fleet with CNG trucks or a hybrid electric CNG truck or a fully electric truck, whatever you want to classify the ERX as, um, over a five year period, the cost benefit is, is definitely an advantage to the ERX, in my opinion, in my mathematical equation. You guys check it out yourself. The site is actresearch.net. You're looking for the truck fuel calculator. You can even plug in hydrogen fuel, propane, gasoline. They got all kinds of stuff up there. You guys want to run some calculations and see how much it's all going to cost. Have fun with it. Try it out yourself. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share. And I'll be talking to you guys soon next week. Drive Mix Game. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.